Shalom everyone, um, I'm making another video now in the open again and um, in this video I want to talk about which spirit is behind them. This may sound a bit spooky to you but it's not, it just, it's basically common sense, okay? Let's say you have a ministry where it's a church or an uh, NGO where you have, when you have a ministry. Let's say this ministry is revealing the occultic influence in modern day music. It can be that all the facts they're showing you about occult influences are true. Okay, that's true. But also ask yourself, why are they revealing it? Are they revealing it to inform you about the spiritual reality so that you will be free from from bondage or are they showing it to you with a hidden agenda just think about this guys there are so-called christian ministries out there i say so-called because when you look at, at them on the surface they're telling a lot of true facts okay but you need to remember you see demons can show you seven true facts which are true but within those seven true facts that they reveal to you they hide a lie you see and often you're so focused on the true facts that you don't notice the lie that is being sold onto you i say being sold because you accept the true facts but by not discerning the facts you are also buying into a lie Because, for example, a lot of Christian ministries promote a lifestyle of having a regular job, getting married, having kids, paying taxes, obey the laws of the government, to shut your mouth if people don't ask your opinion, and to just be, um, how do I say it, to be civil and pleasant towards others. That's the agenda many Christian ministries are promoting. Now, there was Jesus always was Jesus like that was Jesus always pleasant and, and comfortable to others what we call respectful no he wasn't Jesus often he exposed evil he said things like it was and he really ministered unto others you see for example you, you enter a store people say good morning or in, or when you leave say have a nice day do they really mean it no it's their job they're doing it just to create a comfortable environment so that you will buy stuff over there well the same is true with many of those christian ministries that are arising today and are operating today they don't really mean it okay they have the words they have the name of jesus all of that when you look behind all of that you notice that there is a hidden agenda there's an agenda to keep you in bondage they, they may reveal certain information to get you out of this kind of bondage while at the same time they're promoting this bunch of bondage over here but because you're so focused upon deliverance from this bondage over here you're not aware that you're being led into bondage over here guys and ladies also of course when i say guys i mean all of you are watching this you need to be you need to pray for discernment just because a ministry or someone is revealing true facts that does not mean that they are under the guidance of the Holy Spirit atheists can reveal true facts but they don't have the Holy Spirit so they're not guiding you towards God they're not guiding you into freedom okay they're guiding you into a life of self-gratification do whatever your impulse tells you it's your life it's life is short that's their agenda and they may reveal true facts onto you that may benefit you but will not benefit you in the right direction you see and guys i'm very strict uh, when um, judging ministries because the spiritual man or the spiritual woman judges all things is what the bible is saying so you need to use you need to have discernment guys many of you are stuck where you are now because of because you didn't discern what you were receiving you see just as you have false gospels out there you also have false deliverance a false deliverance is 
let's say someone had a childhood trauma, not really childhood trauma, but had a trauma in their teenage years, and there is this emotional tension around them. They have a mark of victimhood. And let's say a girl became alcoholic and she became to party, 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 party over and over again to, to get released. Now, a minister can come and point out that her lifestyle is harmful to herself and it may not make her an attractive marriage partner. Okay, those are true facts, okay? Now the girl may decide, okay, I don't want to party party anymore, I don't want to get rid of I want to get rid of alcohol. They may even have a deliverance ministry and some spirit is cast out of them. And the girl does not drink that much alcohol anymore. Little by little she stops going party party party. In the day she stops with a dangerous lifestyle. So you may think, okay, she's delivered, she's free. But hold on. The mark of victimhood. That well, that's is still on her. So now instead of um, being addicted to alcohol and to partying, she's now addicted at fi with finding the right men. And she's now manipulating church members to get that right man. She's objectifying men now, in order to. Why? Because she went from one addiction to another. What addiction she went to is socially acceptable. But it's still addiction, and the real issue still is not resolved. Okay, because the mark of victimhood is still there. She still has this negative tension, and she's still an open door for evil spirits. One spirit may have been cast out, but because the issue is not resolved, the problem is, is has just been replaced. That's why I'm telling you guys: be very dis be with discernment. You see, there are false deliverance ministries out there, and there is such a thing as false deliverance. It is deliverance, but only deliver deliverance from one. Well, let me say it like this: you have a you have a tree over there. You see, you can cut off a branch of the tree. Okay, a branch of the tree is gone. You don't see it anymore. But the tree is still there. Or maybe you, with an axe, you cut down the tree, but the roots are still are still there. You see, the roots are still there. So the space is still occupied by the tree. Even though the tree is cut down, the roots are still there. That's why when Jesus saw the unfruitful fig tree, what you need to understand, when a fig tree, uh, when, when, when a fig tree, when the fruits are developing, some of the fruits turn into leaves and others turn into figs. And when, when once you see leaves on a fig tree, it's a sign that there's fruit on it. The fruits are not ripe yet, but you can you can eat them. When you see a fig tree with leaves but no fruit, it means it's an unfruitful fig tree. It's taking space it shouldn't take. You see? That's why he cursed it from the roots. You see? And that's what you need to do with the negative issues in your life also. Um, deal with them in the spirit from the root. Okay? Many of us, by our own understanding, by our emotional strength, we deal with the branches of the issues. You see? But we don't ever deal with the roots, spiritual roots that, that's behind it. You see? And often the people around you don't want you to deal with the spiritual root of it because they are contributing to the, to the, to, to the root issue. For example, if you live in a society where they have a bipolar sexual attitude, and because of that bipolar sexual attitude, there are a lot, there are a lot of sex, sexual addictions, but with that same bipolar sexual um, um, paradigm, there's also an economy that exploits people, that the rich benefit from and that the middle class benefits from. Without that sexual bipolarity, with that, that with, without that collective trauma, the exploitative economy won't operate. So let's say you are suffering from a porn addiction, to a, of a sexual porn addiction or some other issue that's a branch of the sexual bipolarity in a, in a society. People will support you to get rid of the leaves of the branch, but they will never want you to go to the root, because once the root has been taken out, there will be consequences for them also. Okay, they, they're going to feel it. So understand this. 
go to the root of issues. Don't hang around at the branches and the fruits. Go to the root. Once it's, it's dealt with at the root, it's over it and you can you can speak blessings and God's promises in your life. Always speak God's promises and blessings into your life. At the same time, also deal in the spirit with issues at the root. Okay? And understand this. There will be retaliation when you do this. But that's not your problem. You do what the Lord tells you to do. That's being said to all. I'm continuing now. May the grace of Christ Jesus be with you. Shalom.